guys, Sean Hamlin with Premier Guitar. We're at Summer NAMM 2019 in Nashville talking to Daryl Sturmer of Genesis at the Godan booth. Daryl, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you have a new signature model here. Um, you want to tell us the story about how this came about? Right, well, uh, I was talking to Godan about because I owned an LGXT model. And that has the synth pickup and it has an acoustic pickup as well as this. So I thought I'd like to make something a little simpler and I would basically have the same pickups, the same neck, and the same body, but just one tone control, one volume control, a different type of uh, tuning peg, tuning machines. These are the ratio type. I really, I really like those. And also the HDR, which is the high definition revoicer. That was something that really makes a difference to me. I mean, it, I, you could play it either way, but it kind of makes the guitar turn uh, electric. Uh, not electric, but... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, Mar Mario, I know this has been around for a while, a few years now, but can you explain the HDR in a little bit more detail? Well, um, it, it, we started off with uh, wanting to like enhance the character of the pickup or you know change the characters of the pickup so that you can have your passive pickups. And that HDR is uh, an active preamp, you know? And it just becomes a little bit more sensitive to the touch, a little bit more dynamic. It's not necessarily a boost, but it just changes the character of the pickup. So it's almost like... Um, is there any sort of EQ change with it? Yeah, there's an EQ change. There's a couple of preamps in the circuit board that you can either put on. It's a true, true bypass. Um, and it, it really does allow the pickups to sound differently. So it's almost like having two sets of pickups. It's very sensitive to the touch. If uh, you want to do a little bit of a finger style, you're not going to miss that bite that's going to bring that out there. So it enhances the pickups, you know? Okay, so it sounds like you wanted kind of a simplified control right. scheme and the, uh, the tuners, I guess you probably wanted them to work a little faster on stage, is that it? They're not, well, yes they are, because you don't want them to work also too fast. True. You know, sometimes they just, they just kick in. These go much slower, which is, when you're, when you're restringing the guitar, it's a little slower. But once you're on stage, this is a little quicker. Yeah. So, but you know, back to the HDR. What that is is that's actually most effective when you're not using overdrive. Like when you're playing something, kick it in. It sounds like it's louder, but it's actually not. It's just enhancing the the high end or the low end, whatever there. There's without. It. That's without it. Here's with it. Now, it appears louder, but I don't does, know. does it compress it at all? Well, it just makes your your uh, pickups yeah. active. That was the word I was looking for, yeah. and uh, but it, it also works with the overdrive. But you, you don't notice it quite as much. Like if I was playing, now I'll kick it in. It's, it's subtle. Yeah. It's very very subtle. But when you're playing straight stuff, kick it in. You know, it's there. But it's pretty significant there. It's maybe hard to hear in here, but no, I can hear it. And I'm even well, going deaf. Yeah, <laughs> I met the people over the in uh, watching the video. Might be a little difficult. Okay. So, um, do you want to show us any other sounds that you like to use with? Yeah, well, I mean, basically, it, it's. I like to use a lot of pedals with it as well. You know, I mean, it's got a nice straight. So and then this. It has a lot of like some some of the same characteristics that like Les Paul has, but more by having the HDR, and I just like the way the neck feels. Yeah. Uh, but it's great with any of the effects that I'm using. <laughs> using it with a whammy. Now, why don't we? Uh, why don't I get Mario to maybe give us some specifics on where to get more details and the price, and then maybe we have you pl play us out. Sure. Okay. So, Mario, how much is this going for? This is treating at uh, 1650, and uh, just released. You can get more info at GodinGuitars.com. And uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to have a uh, promotion soon where. Um, if you buy the guitar, um, it's going to come with a uh, signed uh, CD from Daryl Sturmer. Um, and we're going to do a little promotion around it. And uh, we worked a couple of years on this guitar, really proud of it. And the collaboration is great. And uh, he's playing it on tour and can continue to be playing it um, with Phil Collins uh, this fall. So uh, we're, we're excited.
Nice. All right, so head to godan.com, but before you do that, be sure to, subscri <laughs> be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. And uh, Daryl, you want to play us out? Sure. Well, I'll do anything you want. Thank <laughs> you.